Hello everyone and welcome to this movie called The Brandy Station XE. It's winter and we have John Darren's launching from the Wusik Tower launch on his Vice Scala, a two-liner wing. The air high up is very cold, but we will get to those clouds far away. My first transition with Randy following. I'm crossing Fort Valley to that cloud and notice a shade angle. From here it goes to the Page Valley and Hogback Mountain under the clouds. And this is a view back to the Woodsack area. And the cloud above Hogback is waiting for me. And this is my 4 year old glider with 630 hours. And this is a view to the south from high up above the Shenandoah National Park. Crossing the mountains I hit massive sink. But the house thermal below works and soon after I'm high up again. And here is that house thermal again once I passed it. I dive in the blue flatlands searching for thermal smoke by clouds. I'm still high and Woodsack starts to fade out in the back. It's getting late, marked also by the shade angle of the clouds. As the sun gets lower, so do I. I am on my final glide flying over Brandy Station on Route 29. The air is very floaty and I glide to 65 km distance from start in 2 hours 45 minutes. And I was lucky because in 3 rides I got back to my car in Manassas. And thanks to Wayne, Albert and TC for giving me the rides today. And this is my track in red from the left to the right. Randy and John are marked as well and they team flew to 46 km from the start. What a nice exy winter day to start the new year. Thanks for watching this Tom C. paragliding video.